with Five Senses Academy. Thank you for joining me. And the other day I made a video about staying away from electronics as much as possible or keeping your children away from electronics as much as possible. You go ahead and knock yourself out. So today I just want to offer a solution or an example of a solution that would help you when your child gets antsy or your student gets antsy says, I'm bored, I don't have anything to do. Here's an idea. So I was walking through the dollar store and I found these little baskets. Isn't this like the perfect little cute basket? For only a dollar, I got this in different colors. Activity kits are something that I'm very fond of. I have them in all parts of the centers with all creative type things. And what I do is I use them as a jumping point for children. So today we're talking about this art activity kit. Um, and I want to show you some ways and why it's a good idea to have it. So this one, of course I told you already, I purchased this at the dollar store for just a dollar. And then I filled up the basket. Now you can fill up the basket with anything you want to. This one has markers in it. Um, let me see if I can make it better. Glue. I have paper. These are the scrap papers that you get out of um, scrapbooking. Um, so they come in different patterns and I like to keep some of those in there. In this activity, I have letters. These are poster letters. And since my students are working on letters, I always like to have letters around and activity kids everywhere so they can recognize the numbers, the letters, and play with the letters, get hands on with the letters. So right now I have M and T, so many different letters in here, right? What else I have in here? I have a bottle of glue, of course, so they can stick everything. We have shapes, that foamy, the foamy shapes. I have a pair of scissors. These are the scissors that creates a design when children cut. These are for the kids that's a little more advanced, that's already learning how to cut because they're a little harder to cut with. And last but not least, I have tissue paper. Now, random, yes indeed, it is random. The reason I like to make it random because this is an open ended activity. This is an open-ended activity. Give them some materials and let them go at it. Now what I do, when my students decide to go into the art center, we only go three at a time. A lot of times they like choosing the activity kits that I have for them. So this is one. At the same time, I have this activity kit, which as you'll see, only has two markers because this one's not about drawing. Have cut up shapes again, but these are squares. Um, I don't know if you could really tell, but these are like construction with a little shine to it, construction, but they're all squares with different colors on each side. Oops, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Confetti time. <laughs> it feels like they just started falling. <laughs> and this one I have um, glue stick. And again, I have letters, but this time these letters are sticky letters and they're small. And I even have a few in here that are sparkly. Kids love when I give them sparkly letters. And these, I find these at Walmart, very cheap. I have, what are these? We have fun sticks for them to, to build with. Things are falling all over. And I have sparkly pom-poms. See, random things that can make a collage, can make art, whatever they wanna do. And when a basket's like this and doesn't include paper, they just take a, pe a sheet of paper, construction paper, whatever kind of paper they want off the shelf, and then they get to it. And my third activity kit, this green one, has cotton balls, <laughs> has yarn, different colors of yarn cut up, only one marker. What do you call these? Some shreds, <laughs> shreds of colorful paper. And then have face, face shapes that they can design on their own. Now, I purposely didn't put any eyes in here or, you know, anything that's a distinct eye or a distinct nose or distinct facial features so they can get creative. And I have the glue, of course, so they can stick everything in. Is that all I have in here? Yeah. Okay. So when a child comes to this art center, let's say they come to me, I'm bored, I don't know what to do. Okay, would you like the green activity kit, 
the yellow activity kit or the red activity kit. And they just kind of glance and see what it is that they would like to play with and they choose when they sit down. And you'd be surprised at how long they get going and they never stop. They get so excited. And our goal is to encourage open-ended art, right? Process art instead of product art. So when they get going, it's all about the process, how long it takes them, what they're thinking. It's very fun sometimes to just sit and watch them and, and, and if they're interested, go into conversation with them to see what they're thinking, what they're creating. Um, also, besides construction paper, I like to have shoe boxes. I like to have regular big boxes that you can get at supermarket or you can get, you know, when you go to certain stores. I like to have construction paper, newspaper, um, paper bags, all kinds of paper or material that they can build on. This is just for a week, these activity boxes, and sometimes they don't even last a week. So the following week, I come up with a whole new um, glitter glue, um, glue sticks. Oh, I had glue sticks in here. There's so many things, sparkles and, and strings and so many things you can find at the dollar store, at Walmart, Target, any craft store, depending how fancy you want to get. If it's just for you and your child, you can go to Michael's or AC Moore's, any craft store like that, or you can go to Baker, Becker's or Lakeshore and go all, all out. If you're a teacher on a budget, you can go to dollar stores and Walmart and Target. Well, Target's more pricey than Walmart, right? Um, and you can get what you need. So you can make these little fun activity kits. Please let me know if you find them at your local um, dollar store. I, I just bought some more recently. Um, and I was out of town and I found them. So I imagine they're, you know, in different states and different cities. So go out and get your hands on these because I imagine they'll go very quickly. Thank you so much for spending time with me today as we talked about activity kits specifically in the art center. Let me know if you would like to see something else on this topic. Please leave a comment below letting me know if you did it, if you found these containers, or if you have another container that you use, because I use a lot of different containers depending on where. Let me know what containers you use for activity centers or activity, activity kits, whatever you call it, whatever you do. All right, bye.